what in the world is Grim Dark. In this video, I'm going to show you how I take this Sons of Horrors looking from a showroom condition into a really, really, really Grim Dark place. Grim Dark isn't just a painting style. Grim Dark to me is a religion. The aim of this video is to introduce you to the cup of Grim Dark, and I will be your teacher. So, what in this world is Grim Dark? So, Grim Dark isn't just slathering on some weathering and making your models look dirty. That's not Grim Dark. Grim Dark is actually how you can make the model and the environment look as bleak as possible. It's about taking your model and making it look like it's gone through hell, then bringing it through hell again and again and again. The signature look of this style comes from John Blanche and how it makes the model look really really bleak by slathering on copious amounts of dirt and weathering to make the model's environment look like it's really bleak and there is no hope at all. So without further ado, let's get the Dreadnought to showroom standard so that we can take it to a really grim dark place. Oh, this looks really happy. Something straight up from a Saturday morning cartoon. Don't worry, this dreadnought is going to be taken to a really grim dark place just a little bit. So we've used the airbrush to establish the light placements and next I'm going to be using the brush to do up some layering to make this dreadnought so bling and shiny to make it look like it just came off the showroom. But don't worry, we're going to turn him grim dark just after this stage. I'm going to be using very contrasting colours here. So I'm going to be using a warm highlight to contrast against the cool green colour that is the mid-tone of this Sons of Horror Dreadnought. It allows me to mix in a lot of saturation to turn this Dreadnought looking really vibrant and just like a cartoon character. Wow, this Dreadnought is looking really vibrant and really happy, ready to tear up the battlefield. So if you are after an eye-catching result on the tabletop, you can just stop here. 
But why stop here? We're going to take this Dreadnought and make him really grimmed up right now. This Dreadnought is in trouble. It looks so dirty right now. All the hard work is probably gone. Not at all. We're gonna clean it off with a little bit of enamel thinner as well as a clean sponge. But not all the grime can be washed off. The grime actually stays on the model and makes this appearance look a little bit more desaturated. One step closer to achieving that grim dark look. The Contemptor Dreadnought right here has a lot of open spaces. It's an opportunity to do some freehand, and when I do freehands, I like to use a watercolor pencil, in this case a white one, to mark out the key spots of the sigil so that I can visualize how the end product can look like. After that, I'll be using Black AK Gen 3 and I'm just going to be very carefully lining this freehand. Just do this really carefully and clean up after every stroke. Oh Mr. Horus, I'm not feeling so good. Don't worry, we are going to take you to a more grim dark place after these stages. It's going to be chipping, streaking and scratching all sorts of nasty things to this dreadnought. Let's go! So here's a little tip when choosing the sponges. Not all sponges are made equally, so you want to choose the sponges that are a little bit more absorbent. Kitchen sponges do really well, just tear them up and do them a little bit at a time. Just do this very gradually and you'll have a nice chipping result. Don't try to make big patches at one shot because very often or not, it's going to be too much. Remember the rule guys, less is more. Nothing is worse for a Dreadnought than being in a very hostile environment. And this you can show through the runoff on the Dreadnought through streaking. We're going to be painting in some streaks and this is going to take this Dreadnought to a very very grim dark place.
Similarly for the scratching part, you just want to do this a little at a time. Just want to do some thin scratches, look at the entire miniature and decide whether it's enough. Sometimes less is more and it's okay to just call it a day. So we've shown how we can take a showroom condition dreadnought all the way from showroom to really grim dark. So do you now believe that grim dark is a religion? If you do, hit the like button or the subscribe button. Or if you like to paint weathered stuff and want to make them even more weathered, why not click this video right here where I teach you how to paint this weathered patina look on the Chaos Knight armor panel.